We're joined now yeah. by Republican Congressman Chuck Edwards, who represents this area of North Carolina that was so hard hit by Helene. Uh, Congressman, thanks for joining us. Are these folks going to be able to vote? Can you get the word out where they're supposed to go? Oh, most certainly. We will be voting here in North Carolina. None of us have forgotten what our lives were like before this storm. We are very motivated to make it to the polls and cast our vote. Uh, regardless of the obstacles that may seem in our way right now. So you don't anticipate any hitch, any holdup uh, in the way people are able to do this? I mean, early voting starts in literally two days. Well, of course there's a hitch because we have some uh, uh, roads that we can't use. We have to use alternate routes. We have some polling places that are being used for other purposes. But uh, I think most folks recognize how important it is that we get out and cast our vote. The important thing is we start thinking about it right now. Yeah. Uh, while folks are still trying to dig their way out and uh, figure out how they're going to take care of their families, uh, they will very quickly realize the constitutional right and obligation and responsibility that we have to get out and vote. Our General Assembly has allocated quite a bit of money, about $5 million, to help get the word out and educate folks where they can vote and the fact that they need to vote. Uh, and I'm sure all the political parties are going to be out there activating their voters as well. Uh, I want to ask you about all the disinformation that's been rampant there. You actually had to send a letter to your own constituents telling them that, quote, no one can control the weather. This was after Marjorie Taylor Greene posted something on social media saying Democrats are controlling the weather. Did people actually believe that? I'm not sure how many people believed it. I believe that uh, there are a good portion of folks out there that were simply trying to, uh, to get attention on social media, see how many uh, outrageous stories that they could tell, how many likes that they could get, uh, which is often the case with social media, especially with so many folks having extra time on their hands during uh, this hurricane recovery. Yeah, but if it was just a bunch of people goofing off on Twitter, you wouldn't be issuing a letter about that. Well, there were a lot of folks that uh, were calling my office, asking various questions, issuing a uh, 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 many different concerns about how FEMA uh, was was handling different situations. I sent out a comprehensive uh, communication addressing all the myths that I had heard out there. Probably the most significant is the one that uh, FEMA was confiscating materials and turning people around and that sort of thing. That was just absolutely not true. Yeah. And it was getting in the way of us addressing the issue here in Western North Carolina. Yeah, you also said in your letter the federal government is not seizing land. They're not bulldozing the town of Chimney Rock. They're not abandoning search and rescue operations. Um, are, is this working? Were you able to calm things down there? Oh, most certainly. In fact, I was quite surprised how things calmed down after I sent out that communication. Okay, because Governor Roy Cooper and FEMA Administrator Deanne Criswell today both made another plea for the misinformation about emergency response to stop. Well, I know that my office is not handling nearly as many as those types of calls and emails as we were before the communication. Uh, as you know, over the weekend, FEMA operations were paused in two counties. Door-to-door -door operations did resume yesterday. Um, this was because there had been uh, uh, reports that have not been proven true of armed militias driving around, threatening FEMA workers. However, there was an arrest of an armed man who was uh, threatening FEMA workers, and was he was arrested right outside a FEMA distribution center. Yeah, so uh, I, I, I think that that, uh, that threat w was proven true. Uh, there have been no widespread threats. There have been a couple of one-offs reported to me by county sheriffs in, in, in my district. Uh, and it's unfortunate because uh, we have many FEMA workers out on the ground now that are actually going door to door and trying to help people in uh, re recovering from this horrible storm. Thanks so much for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven 
unbiased coverage.